<sighs> I am so stressed, anxious, all of the things. The movers are here. It's moving day. Welcome to the moving vlog. Kind of in a rush. I just came from my parents' house and had to meet the movers here because yesterday I was feeling so overwhelmed I couldn't even stay in here. My place was a wreck. <laughs> and i literally felt like i was gonna pass out that's how anxious i was i don't know after this move i need a hard reset and i'm learning that yeah i don't think i can do this whole moving situation much longer but anywho movers are here hello i look stressed and that's because i am i look how i feel anyway this is the progress that's being made so this is stuff i'm taking in my car which is why i have it in this corner but they're about to clear all of my bedroom out they already cleared out my closet you guys saw this in the last vlog how packed it was i even have a clip um that i took right before this too but they are taking all this that i'm gonna ask them to pack it because i don't even want to deal with it to be honest and then this they're making progress really really fast and i'm just trying to take it easy because i'm finding myself getting very overwhelmed very quickly and i'm not trying to pass out on these men <laughs> So, they're gonna take this too. Yeah, but I wanted to show you guys my old view of this apartment. This was my view, very pretty. People would play soccer here every day, pretty much. Just a really nice view. And then this was my view as well over here. Here's the progress now. Almost there. This is trash. This was a TV in my bedroom and it turned it on the other day and it doesn't work anymore. So that was interesting. But yeah, everything's almost done we officially made it and i'm exhausted but here is a quick very quick empty apartment tour so this is kind of what i think i mentioned to you guys i have a really long closet at the entrance and this is basically the size of two two or three closets so i have a full size washer and dryer and then I have all of this space. My other one was, I'm gonna say like half the size of this. So I have all of this closet space to work with. It's The camera is not gonna do this place much justice, but from there, bathroom number one is over here. I love that I actually have drawers. My other place did not. It just had a pull open door, which made it kind of hard to store things, if I'm being honest. Whereas here, oh, and it has walk-in lights. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but here, it's, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to organize my things. I have some space under here for stuff. These lights as well. There you go. Mirror lights. This bathroom is kind of similar to the bathroom that I had before, except the ceilings are higher. Over there, the ceilings were so, so low. And the bathtub here is a lot bigger. My other one was very, very slim. It felt like you were kind of crammed in there. And this is a full size tub, which is great. I am gonna switch out the shower head like I always do. And I just gotta put some curtains in here and just do my do my little thing. But this is gonna be my guest bathroom. So I'm probably gonna mostly have stuff in here if guests come over, just like extra toiletry stuff and whatever else 
you know, backup stuff I have in here. One of my bathrooms, sorry, I'm out of breath. One of my bathrooms, I think I want to paint and make it a little bit more moody, especially because I think I'm planning on staying here a little longer. I can decide if I want to do it to this bathroom or if I want to do it to my bathroom, but we'll see. Bathroom number one. Then I have a pantry, which I did not notice. I was just on the phone with my mom and I had the movers bring in the one that I built from Ikea because I didn't realize I actually have a pantry here, which now I'm gonna have to tell the movers to, I don't know, leave it somewhere in a, in a dumpster downstairs for somebody else to take, but I have a full on pantry and you kind of got a glimpse of the flex space so obviously we have the hallway bathroom pantry and this right here is called a flex space so i can use this as a bedroom i can use this as an office i can use it as whatever i want i could add track curtains just to separate the room but i'm not going to i want to leave it completely completely open and uh, i don't know if i want to make this side the living room or if i want to make the opposite side the living room and then leave this bare but here you can see i have first off high ceilings <laughs> and you can see i have another closet over here so that's already like this is a third kind of the third, the other one is like two or three closets in one. So here I have another full size closet. And then let's go over here to the corner so I can show you the rest of the apartment. It's huge, so you can see I'm standing in the corner. This is the flex space. And I still have all of that extra, 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 extra space. So this right here is the bedroom space. They already brought in my computer. My bedroom, I think, might be the same. Or maybe a little. I can't tell if it's bigger. I think it might barely fit my bed and my nightstands. And then I'll put my TV stand slash dresser on that corner. And over here, door number one is my bathroom. I have high ceilings in here too, all the way throughout, and then this is my bathroom. Same exact layout, tub, everything is exactly the same. And then door number two is closet number three, slash four. And this one is huge, it's a huge walk-in closet. Literally. This is what I meant by I feel like I'm not compromising on space because this right here is a mini bedroom within itself. This is going to store a lot. And actually, I could keep, yep, I'm gonna keep that pantry and I'm gonna put it in here and store my purses and any other stuff. I can actually put it in this corner right here and use it for, for shoes or whatever other extra stuff because I have so much space in here. Instead of getting rid of it, I might as well put it to use in the meantime. So from this angle, you get a full look. This is humongous. And all these windows, the lighting is insane. Can't believe this is my this is my kitchen, this is my bedroom. I have my own bathroom, y'all. I shook. And the, see it's the little things, the little things. These cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling and the ceiling is not super low like my other kitchen was. I did not have storage above my microwave at my old place. I also did not have storage above my refrigerator at my old place. I did not have a pantry at my old place. I did not have a second bathroom at my old place. Neither did I have a huge refrigerator this big. I did have a double door fridge, but this one is a lot, a lot more spacious than my other one. It really actually, yep, this is way bigger. The other one, 
This stuff was really crammed. And I have a gas stove. Not electric, a full on gas stove. I like that I'm high up, but not too high to where it's like scary because I don't like being super high up. If I was higher than this, I would not really use my balcony just because it's like scary and because these are metal it feels less safe versus it being a cement let me get off this camera <laughs> versus being cement it would be a lot more um sturdy and it would make me feel safer but the movers are already unloading some stuff i really i'm just gonna wait for them to do that i kind of have to do some running around i have to go to my car get my stuff and then the cable guy is gonna be here um, at two, which it's almost, it's almost two. Do you see the lighting? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Oh, and another small thing, sorry, I'm excited. Another small thing, I have lights in my bedroom. In my old bedroom, I did not have lights. I had to only use my lamps and sometimes they were a little too dim. Even with the highest um, light bulb, they were just too dim. So I have the option now of having the overhead lights on or lamps and I can control all of the lights in here, the dim, the brightness, I should say, the brightness, on, off, the AC, um, I can unlock all of the doors around the building, everything, all through my phone. Um, so if I'm coming home and I want to turn the lights on or the AC on before I get here, um, I can do that. If I want to let somebody in, I can do that all through my phone, which is crazy. The movers just left. I'm this close to crying because I just cannot even, you guys just don't even know, okay? I have my new bedding washing and drying. I realized my washer is a full size washer. <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to show off, <laughs> show off and show out, but y'all, it's really the little things because before when I would try to put a comforter in my old apartment, it would not fit and it would not wash properly. I would have to shove it in there. And now it's, look at, there's room, there's space. So I got new bedding so I can set up my um, bed. With all of my clothes already in here, this whole closet is still completely empty. Everything's already in here and this closet's completely empty. So that's gonna be fun. In this closet, I'm planning on putting all of my outerwear, like my coats, jackets, and my shoes. That way, you know, I usually don't do shoes off at the door type of thing, but I might start because I know a lot of people usually recommend that. So I think if I have all of my shoes here, I'll get more in the habit of, of doing that. And then maybe I'll get like a cute little shoe rack or something just in case people want to put their shoes here that come over. I'm thinking, so I have the two mirrors and I was thinking of putting one here for people to look at themselves before they head out. I don't know if I wanna do the tall mirror, like that one over there, here, and do full length, or if I wanna do a cute table, a shoe rack, and then do a round mirror. So we will figure it out. Ay, ay, That's all stuff that we're figuring out later. Have that going. This is the progress yet not progress. There's a lot of mess everywhere. Today's focus for me is putting my clothes where I want it to go and my bedroom because I want to be able to sleep good tonight. And so I am going to go through the boxes and look for all of my clothes. Oh, my couch is here. I got my couch uh, delivered right on time and the movers moved it up for me. And I went for a taupey tan, easier to clean, still neutral but warmer, I did not want gray. It looks gray on camera, but it's a warm, warm taupe, which I freaking love. And I'm planning on adding chairs over here, but so far this feels really, it's firm, which I like, but it feels comfortable. And I know once it breaks in, it's gonna be even fluffier and comfy, but I like a firm couch because I want it to look polished. My other couch 
was shorter. It just looked a little messier because it wasn't as firm of a couch. And then I have my concrete table, got some TV legs so we can put the TV on there. I'm gonna avoid mounting it for now. And then my bed, I have more space. Before my bed was all the way over here and I had to squish through to get to my clothes. So now I have so much room for activity <laughs> and um, perfect enough space for my nightstands, my lamps, and I might be able to hang my mirrors like I used to have. The mirrors I'm talking about are these. Honestly, y'all, I... I really wanna sit down right now and just talk to you guys about how I feel. I feel extremely grateful right now because I'm looking outside and I thought the thing is we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. I was gonna wait until I was a little more settled and not feeling crusty, but we'll talk for a sec and then we'll talk more. But I thought my last place I was obsessed with and I loved when I moved in. This is a different level how this all came together how stressed i have been how anxious i've been this is so worth it i'm really trying not to cry um because it, it's been a rough past few weeks just a lot happening and a lot of i've just been it's been tough for me i briefly talked about it in the last vlog just feeling like a lot of people are kind of going through a weird patch right now where a lot of people aren't really sleeping well uh people are sick or just feeling off and just a weird something is happening and i'm feeling that too i, I have been the past like month month or two and so i've just kind of been trying to like take it day by day literally and the craziest thing is nothing major is happening in my life but it's it just a lot of little things that for some reason have felt extremely stressful usually i'm able to handle like a move or um you know little things here and there which i didn't mention this part just because for me i just wanted to go through the process and and just be over with it but i actually had surgery um a month or like a little over a month ago now and so that's kind of that's exactly why i've been like mia more than normally um and i didn't want to talk about it honestly because it was again for the whole like breast augmentation situation if you didn't know i got a breast augmentation back in i don't even know what year i'm tired of talking about it to be honest but I got it a few years ago and I since then have had to have a few surgeries because of um, stitches that were left in there from my original surgeon. Again, don't really want to get too much into detail with it because I'm fed up about it. But I, long story short, I had to go in to get some scar tissue removed here because of pain that I was experiencing. And so right now it's still like a little sore and I'm still somewhat healing from that as far as feeling 100% but um yeah ever since that i have been very very stressed because i've had to get surgery for that so many times already and i just get overwhelmed when it comes to anything health related i never have had issues with health so two years ago the last time i had to get surgery um this similar feeling that i've been feeling happened and it's like a lot of anxiousness um this time around though i've kind of had like dizziness just a lot of tension on my shoulders it's just like girl you're just i'm just overly stressed i feel like my body needs a hard reset so the way that i'm feeling right now i feel so good and i haven't had this feeling honestly and this is why i'm saying I, i'm trying not to cry i haven't felt this like happy or not anxious and tense in a few weeks so this just really does feel like a fresh start i know everybody says that when they move but just the way i felt i just this feels very refreshing and i'm ready to just okay <laughs> okay and i didn't want
want wanted to get deep and i actually did not i actually was telling my friends and, and family that i just wanted to go through with getting the scar tissue removed and not even talk about it but i know somebody out there maybe might be feeling like i have or has never had to do surgeries and then they've had to and it just kind of like shifts your mood and how you are as a person so yeah the past few that's why the past few weeks have been rough so it's been little things that well surgery is big um but on top of that it was the surgery it was looking for a new apartment it was um mentally moving on from the pain like the discomfort that i was feeling uh what else <laughs> finally finding an apartment applying for it having to get all these paperwork things situated because i'm self-employed and having to take those extra steps hiring movers packing all of my things i couldn't even pack because i had to wait it was three or four weeks three weeks um until i was able to lift anything at all so I, that's why i had to wait to um find my apartment so last minute see things the math is math thing i had to wait to get my apartment super last minute and to start packing super last minute so that was adding on to it because i had about a week i think a week or two before i had to be out of my last place tomorrow is my move out day at my last place i usually give myself a week and this time i don't even have time to do that so it's just been it's it's definitely a lot of stress and so i'm finally hoping that slowly it starts to release and that this new space and energy just makes me shift back to happy regular hosting um decorating posting often filming sabrina like i just want to get back to to her it might take some time i'm not rushing but it's just been a lot it's been a tough past few weeks i am human and i just want to show you guys that i too go through ish okay and have mental battles and physical battles and everything so that's why i'm like fighting back tears so it's been rough but it's 2024 fresh start my birthday is next week <laughs> i'm hosting something here for my birthday next week my apartment i'm walking around and i just i prayed in the car because i just feel so grateful i was able to look at the sunset while it was setting and i didn't have that at my old place the amount of space that i have here my couch got here on the same day that i moved in my wi-fi guy was available the same day that i moved in the movers helped me move my couch in because the living spaces guys couldn't fit in the elevator they helped me move it up i tipped them really good for it um my parking spot is so close to my unit everything everything all the little things are just making sense and i'm looking outside of my apartment right now this is the first time that i'm looking at it at night and across the building, I can see people in their lofts, working, beautiful decor. I think it's like a, I don't know if it's an apartment complex or offices, but it looks, all the blinds are open and it looks beautiful in there. Yes, yeah, so there's a guy in there that's, um, I think, working, a few people on the next level walking around. There's life and, and people that I can see. Never did I think. Ooh, I'm, I don't want to cry. You work towards things. And I always get asked, why are you moving again? How are you moving again? Aren't you exhausted? But leveling up each time, leveling up in my eyes for me, not for everybody else's me, but every time I've moved, I've, evolved i've grown i've got a bigger better space and it's just a part of my what i call my most beautiful journey we're in so deep but it's true it's like my testimony my journey and everything i'm literally living something that i used to think to myself how will I ever be able to afford that lifestyle? I would drive through these areas and be like, I wish I could live this lifestyle. And I'm sitting here with freaking moving boxes. Like, 
about to do my bed with the view that I have. I have two freaking bathrooms. <laughs> I have a couch that just came in. Goodness gracious. I'm just so happy, y'all. I'm so happy. And I really did not mean to get deep in any way, shape, or form, especially the way that I'm looking right now or feeling. Yeah, I look fine. Okay, I look fine. I've been moving. I don't look crazy. I'm trying not to talk about myself like that. But yeah, I, I didn't mean to really get in... in detail like that but gosh and I think the scariest craziest part is that I've never been a type of person to like experience a lot of um, stress to that capacity like it's always dumb small things like when I was in college I'd be stressed over like studying or stressed because I'm planning something for my family or because I need to turn something in because I have a deadline or a lot of campaigns at once or whatever but never for some reason when it comes to anything health related and then on top of that having other things going on it takes over me it's like the worst thing and this is the only this is only the second time and I hope it's the last freaking time that I experience anxiousness to this degree like I, I kid you not, I literally almost passed out yesterday. That's how like tense, anxious, I was like, ooh, I need to sit down because I feel like I'm about to pass the F out. And I've never experienced that in my life. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but go to yoga, decompress, meditate, pray, get rid of any stress that's going on in your life or try to um, find ways at least to decrease it or to unplug if it's like work related find good ways to unplug when you get home on the weekends or whatever just because it's rough when you have a lot going on and it again it can be small little things that are not a big deal and they're like first world problems but accumulated it can feel extremely overwhelming so you heard it from me <laughs> okay i'm about to probably cry for a second of joy and happiness and we're gonna set up these mirrors put on a, a youtube video on my ipad and just bask in all the feelings I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I can't wait to shower and I cannot believe this is my place. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I can't. All right, let's get these mirrors. The next day, 
progress is being made but also not really i'm taking it super super slow but i am getting ready right now to head out to go turn in my key to my old apartment so that i can be done with over there once i get that done my mom's actually heading here she's gonna take me because um, how I was talking to you guys earlier in the vlog, how like the stress, I finally figured out where they told me what it was. It's like tension headaches that are starting from my neck up because of how tense and stressed. And that's kind of causing me to be a little like discombobulated. Um, they also say like vertigo, that'll tie with like vertigo and whatnot. So not fun, but I just don't want to risk driving around if I'm feeling a little like, cause that's not, that's not smart. So talked to my mom this morning and she luckily she's uh telecommuting so she's working from home and she's able to take me to go um turn in my key and then i think she said we're gonna go eat my dad's gonna meet up with us and we're gonna go eat and um yeah i'll come back and do undo undo unpack <laughs> unpack some some boxes and yeah, but it's it's coming together. I'm starting to move some things around as well. So these are all boxes that need to be broken down and what I showed you guys yesterday. And so what I'm thinking as of right now, like I said, is putting all of my shoes here. I have to unwrap this and um, yeah, they should fit this. I'll scoot this over. Let me see. I think I can sit you guys down. I'm gonna scoot these. I might get some new organizers for this as well. This is just what I have for now. And then I'm also going to put my coats in that closet. All right, you guys, it's been a few days and I just want to sit and chat. I actually got ready today. I feel good. I look good. <laughs> I look better than I've uh, looked the past few days, at least for me. But anyways, yeah, I am finally just settling down. I um, was editing the clips and I was just like, geez, the way that I felt just a few days ago was just so different than how I felt today. Today, I feel better so basically um went to a chiropractor and everything i'm pretty sure i have like some sort of weird congestion situation happening on this side of my face and my head and my ear because this ear feels clogged up covered and it has felt that way for a few weeks now i want to say maybe up to two months it's felt that way and i've just kind of been like oh it's gonna go away go away go away i've already looked up by the way I feel like I've already tried so many different things and I know under the comments I'm about to get so many different recommendations, but just hear me out. Hear me out first before anything. Um, but yeah, this side has been completely like congested. It gets hot and I'm pretty sure it's like some sort of sinus situation happening. I've already tried the vertigo exercises. I've already tried um, eardrops. I've tried decongestants. I've tried the nasal rinse. I've tried... Uh, ibuprofen for the headaches i have tried uh chiropractor chiropractor did help a lot oh my god i went to a chiropractor i went to the joint which they're not i don't know i don't love going there i went there twice and then i went to another chiropractor that i had been to like two years ago and they're actually like a lot more detailed in the way that they do things like they do x-rays and the whole nine um so i went there and wow i felt a huge huge difference and he kind of explained where like the headaches were coming from because y'all i've never experienced headaches i don't experience headaches migraines tension things at all really aside from like a minor random headache but this was different it's stemming from the neck is what he said and he kind of like pointed out on on the chart and everything but stemming from the neck and basically my neck muscles are so tight from whatever stress i've been experiencing that i've tensed up my body so much without noticing 
that is radiating up to the back of my head and even to the sides of my ears it's a certain name for the headache that he said immediately after he adjusted me i felt so much relief and so i am going to be going every week for he said after like four to six adjustments and massages and therapy that i should uh, be good to go so we're gonna see how that goes um i've also tried like benadryl i've I tried like allergy medicine with Flonase because they say that it could be like some sort of allergy situation that I may not be aware of. Like I've literally looked at every possible suggestion. I promise you. And I've looked up like it can be all types of different things. So I'm not necessarily looking for like suggestions, more so just like if you've experienced it, I guess what made like a huge huge difference for you was it like i see a lot of people say like physical therapy and chiropractor has helped a lot but today i didn't take any ibuprofen and i don't have a headache at all i haven't had a headache and whenever i feel myself like tense up and tighten up i like just sit down for a second i relax i have a massager i'll do like some heat and then i'll continue and then i'll just take breaks here and there but that's kind of what my my past few days have I've been like basically just feeling like I can't do a whole lot because I have to take breaks so often. I'm like, yo, people who have nine to fives are like have to report to work and the experience is how do they do it? Because I would have been fired a long time ago because of how debilitating it is. Yeah. But um wouldn't wish it on any anybody not even my worst enemy i don't really have a worst enemy but i wouldn't wish the feeling on anybody but anyway uh that is that feeling a lot better today my chairs got delivered today i got new chairs i haven't even give you guys a progress update i'm about to do that right now but i ordered some chairs from wayfair and i'm kind of nervous because they look big but they look bomb in the pictures and i feel I'm really just evolving when it comes to my decor style. Like I'm finally purchasing big decor pieces that just make sense. And they are more, they look like more investment pieces or like I actually put in effort versus like just going and picking up any random old thing. You know what I mean? Um, but those are just sitting in my hallway. We're gonna unbox those. And I have some packages over there. I have a, Amazon haul that I want to do with you guys on here and that's going to be the end of this video because I have to start a second vlog because tomorrow is Friday and the birthday festivities are kicking off ah, I'm excited my, and it's like perfect timing again because my body's finally feeling like a little more at ease and it's gonna be per I'm trying not to stress myself out with the birthday planning stuff because I love that stuff but for some reason my body's taking stress very di differently this time around so i'm trying to just take it one step at a time but tonight i want to put some stuff together for saturday because saturday i'm hosting a dirty 30 dinner here at my house and it's all girls and the theme is just uh, so freaking fun. but we'll talk more about that in the next vlog that I start after this one. Let me give you guys a progress update on the apartment. Oh, and by the way, before I even do that, my apartment is pretty much 100% unpacked thanks to my mom. I could not have done it. Like I would have still been sitting here with boxes. She came, she had the day off and she came and literally did everything and while she was helping me she kind of saw when i was experiencing like the dizziness and stuff and i had to like sit down but she like she put stuff in where they need to go she was asking like how do you want this this and that everything i was doing one box at a time and i was struggling so thanks to my mom because i seriously couldn't have done it without her i actually sent her like a little something to thank her and then i'm sending her not sending her i'm going with her tomorrow we're gonna do our nails together and stuff so i can treat her because that like yeah i i couldn't have done it without her so 
let's do a quick um, update so you guys can see what the progress is looking like. I have TV stand, everything. TV is set up here in the corner. Mind you, none of this stuff is permanent. I just kind of put things where I think I want to have it and then we're going to switch up as we settle in. Then, as far as the kitchen, all the boxes are now gone aside from the ones that we are going to go through right now. But literally, everything is, is completely pretty much cleared up. The plan here after I tidy up and really just deep clean this place is to add the two chairs we're gonna do that now i'm not gonna wait till i deep clean we're gonna do that right now and see how those look and then i also have a counter height table coming in that i'm planning on using as a dining table slash island I know it probably doesn't make sense, but you guys will see the vision once it comes together and that I'm planning on putting somewhere here and then bringing my three bar stools this way right in front of it. Just trust me. You'll see when it comes together. And I may or may not purchase another bar stool depending on how many fit within the table. The timing for the table is perfect because the table's not going to get here until next week and I'm actually having my birthday thing this Saturday. I'm having it here. And I'm planning on doing the tables kind of like family style, just three long tables all across this and decorating it really, really cute. So having the table not get here until next week works out because it's not gonna take up a bunch of space. So that's gonna work out great. And then this area, I just have some random like things that I need to just kind of put away, trash, but it's completely cleared. You guys saw last time all of the moving boxes were here i think it was like the last few somewhere in the last few clips but all of those boxes my mom <laughs> packed away and they are out and gone um and most of the closets are like again not organized exactly but semi so all of this stuff i have to move over to the closet that is in the hallway and then this will be completely empty and then in the hallway one, you can see that I did somewhat, somewhat finish organizing something. So here I have this where I have my tools, extra cups, my vacuum cleaning stuff, vitamins, medicine stuff, all there. And then my shoes are still kind of messy right here, but you can see what I was trying to do here. Shoes are down there. And then I did end up doing all of my sweaters, hoodies, and my dresses. So, um, you know, if I'm running out, I can just grab a jacket. And I'm thinking of maybe leaving a mirror here so I can just throw on the jacket, see how my outfit looks. And if I'm going to do a dress, a dress is a full outfit within itself. So I can just change right here and see how the dress looks or like switch it out or whatever. Um, and then I have all of my regular tank tops like this one, like tanks t-shirts and long sleeves are all in my bedroom along with the rest of my clothes like my leggings my shorts my jeans sweatpants all of my everyday stuff uh and basic stuff that i wear underneath is all in my room in here in this closet which this closet still needs also organization um but you can see i kind of have all of my short sleeves long sleeves and all of my boots are down here and then up here i just have miscellaneous stuff that i also need to organize and then in this corner you can see i have that um pantry that is now turned into more of a purse accessory situation not organized whatsoever but again the purpose here was to get rid of as many boxes as possible and just put stuff where i think i'm gonna want it and then I'm going to go in individually to go ahead and really organize things how I want it. And then I just have this drawer here with like, you know, my little jewelry and whatnot. So that'll get organized later down the line. Hold on. Oh, by the way, I made red velvet cake last night for Valentine's Day. And it is so bomb, especially today. It's a lot more moist. It's been sitting in here and it is so so bomb I'm telling y'all i'm in my my little baker era 
era. And then I need to get rid of this cart. I need to put it in my car. That's gonna clear up some space. And then I have just some boxes I need to get rid of. But let's do this Amazon haul so we can close out this video. And put these chairs together. Should we do the chairs first? Let's do the chairs first. And then we can sit on the chairs and do the Amazon haul. <laughs> and I'm also gonna set up my phone because I haven't posted on Instagram, y'all, in so freaking long because I've been just getting my life together. And um, yeah, I need to post something on there. And so doing the chairs, I think, is gonna be perfect. I do really like them. I just have to sit and think about it because it feels a little crammed. I still have to see if I want to keep them on that side, this side, or if I want to just do one. Okay, y'all. Let's do this Amazon haul. So first things first, I had to get new shower hooks for my curtains and now Miss Girl has two bathrooms. So I had to get two sets of shower hooks. Nothing fancy, but I use the double one so I can do the clear shower curtain on the inside and then do the decor one on the outside. And now I have, being that I have a guest bathroom, I also got these uh, toothbrush covers because I got toothbrushes to put in the guest bathroom in case somebody comes over and they need a toothbrush. I just want to have all of the essentials for guests in that bathroom, you know, just in case anybody needs anything especially because i have people coming over this weekend and then i also have these spice jars it comes in a huge pack you can see right here and i just i need to replace mine really bad because they're all just kind of mixed up and so i got these that have a wooden top and they also have that little cover on it and these do come with the labels as well. So I'm gonna do this probably sometime next week. I'm not really like in a rush to get that done, to be honest. I wanna save all of the party decor stuff I got for the next vlog. So I'll, I'll put that separate. The last few things that I got for my guest bathroom, uh, shower curtain, I got some shower caddies. Let me set y'all down right here so you can See a little better i planned on doing this haul sitting over there but i just realized most of the stuff is in here because most of the stuff i got was for the bathroom i do have a comforter that's coming in that should be getting here any minute but i probably want to include it in this, this vlog just as a simple white comforter and i want to post this vlog like asap but these i did want to show you because i want to put these up immediately and there are these black shower pens. They're similar to the ones that I have now in my bathroom too. It comes with hooks and with the adhesive things as well. So these are gonna go in here. Maybe I'll record that too. And I got some, wait, I ordered these on Amazon too. The Way Medium Hair Shampoo and the Conditioners. In here, where is it? Right here. 
I got the shampoo and the conditioner from Way for the guest bathroom to put on those shelves. I also have the Way body cleanser and I got the Natrium Glow Getter body wash. I figured having two body washes just so people can have options and shampoo and conditioner and then I'll add like a few other things on there maybe. And then I did get a shower curtain which I'm gonna put up later and then these rugs they do the job. I'm gonna, you know, take some time to really go look for some good ones at like Home Goods or something. But I got a set of two. These are from Amazon. I have one in my bathroom too. They're just like plain black and white rugs. And so I kind of have this just sitting here. And that's what I've gotten so far from Amazon for the guest bathroom. I'm gonna put the guest bathroom together on camera with you guys. And then that'll be it for this vlog. I got another package. I don't know what this one is. Oh, yeah. This is for the wipes. I was cute for the guest bathroom. And I want to order one for my bathroom too, but I wanted to just get one first to see how it looked. One is longer than the other. Not mistaken. When he caught my eye Nothing ever was the same Couldn't seem to get his picture out my mind Then we took it all the way I could have sworn he was just my type Then he, he said to me 